Hi everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my channel. This is a 10 minute beginner yoga class. When you're ready, come at the top of the mount, in Tadasana mountain pose. Roll your shoulders back, find the straight spine. Inhale, reach high with the hands, look up. Exhale, forward fold, bending through the legs, placing the hands on the mat. Halfway lift, extending the legs, placing the hands on the knees. Exhale, fold, hands on the mat. Let's repeat it again. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Last time, inhale, halfway lift, back is straight. Exhale, fold. Step back to plank. Then lower the knees on the mat. Bend through your elbows, chaturanga and lift the shoulders and chest up, coming to a cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, come to a tabletop position. We're going to stay here, and when you now open the chest, look up. Exhale, round. Keep doing some cat cows to warm up the spine, to remove any unwanted tension. And follow your own pace, making sure to link each movement with the breathing. Maybe taking a moment here to close your eyes and to connect your mind with your body. Then hold the static, lift the knees up, down dog. For the first down dog, you can pedal through your legs or you can hold your legs static, whatever is more comfortable for you. Remember that your heels don't have touched the floor but you want to keep the back straight. Then hold the position static and step forward with the right foot, lowering the back knee down. Bring the hands over the head, come into a low lunge. Push forward with the hips, opening through the chest. Gaze can be forward or could follow the hands. Connect with the breathing. And when you exhale, place the hands in a prayer pose and twist towards the right side, hooking the left elbow over the right knee. The gaze follows the right shoulder. Now separate the hands, lower the left hand on the mat, reach up with the right hand, come into a twist. Keep pushing down with the hips. You can stay here or if you want, tuck the left toe and lift the knee. Wherever you are is completely fine. Let's all lower the knee on the mat and bring the right foot towards the end of the mat, coming to a supported side plank. Then extend the right arm over the head. Exhale, come back up, bend the right leg bringing the heel towards the glute and hold the ankle. You can hold it here, start to push up and back with the foot, opening gently the chest, arching the spine, and then release, lowering the right foot on the mat. Come up with the chest, hands up, and exhale, right hand over the right leg, left arm over the head, lengthening the left side of the body. Release and with the help of both hands, come to sit on the mat, extending the right leg out and bending the left leg. Take a deep breath in and when you exhale, bend towards the right leg, lengthening the right left side of the body. Then come off the pose, place the left hand on the mat and push the hips up, engaging the glutes and arching the spine. and release. Let's repeat this again. Bend towards the right leg, extend the left arm over the head. Then come back up, left hand on the mat, push forward with the hips, arching the spine and following with the gaze the right hand. And release. 
Well done. Let's bend the right leg, bringing the foot over the left leg. You can hold it here, or if you want a more intense stretch, twist towards the right side, reaching high with the left arm and hooking the elbow over the right knee. The back is straight, the gaze goes over the right shoulder. Then come back to center. With the help of the hands, start to walk towards the left side, uncrossing the legs and coming to a down dog. Let's hold down dog for two deep breaths, taking this moment to connect with the breathing again, keeping the back extended. Then when you exhale, step forward with the left foot, lowering the back knee down. Hands come over the head, low lunge. On your next exhale, hands to prayer pose, twist towards the left side, hooking the right elbow over the left knee and sending the gaze towards the left shoulder. Keep pushing down with the hips. Then release, separating the hands, right hand on the mat, left arm up, look up. Tuck your right toe, lift the knee. Or if this is too intense, you can keep the knee on the mat, repeating the same thing that you did on the other side. Then wherever you are, let's lower the knee on the mat and step back with the left foot, coming to a supported side plank. Keeping the left foot extended and lifted, reach over the head with the left arm, lengthening the entire side of the body. Then bend through the left leg, finding the glute with the heel. Hold the ankle and open the chest, pushing up and back with the foot. Gently release, lowering the left foot on the mat, lift your chest up, hands up, left hand comes onto the left leg, right arm over the head. You can use the help of the hands to come to sit on the mat. This time we are keeping the left leg extended and the right leg bent. Left hand comes on the left leg, right arm over the head, bent towards the side. Release, right hand on the mat, push forward with the hips, opening the chest, arching the spine, sending the gaze towards the right hand. Come back down with the glutes, bending towards the left leg like we did before, maybe going slightly deeper in the pose, if that's accessible for you. And then releasing, again, right hand on the mat, push forward with the hips, opening the chest, looking back and up with the gaze. And release. Let's take the left leg with both hands and put the foot over the right leg. You can stay here, otherwise left hand on the mat, reach high with the right hand and twist, hooking the elbow over the left knee, sending the gaze towards the left shoulder. Then come back to the center, then walk with the hands towards the right side, starting to uncross the legs and come back to a down dog. Bending through the legs, come to a tabletop position, bend the elbows, lowering yourself on the mat, in or open the chest, cobra or up dog, and when you exhale, down dog, drawing the forehead on the mat and pushing the hips back. Taking a moment here to relax the body, to bring attention back to your breathing and to connect the mind with the body. Letting go of any tension you're still holding on to. 
trying to relax completely in this position and taking this moment to thank yourself for this practice to thank your body for all of this movement you can stay in this pose for as long as you like or if you wish to end the practice here with me slowly start to wake up the body doing small movement anything that feels good for you in this moment starting to rise back up with the head and to come back in a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Bye.